Right, well, never look cool, so yeah. Right, so here is a repair finally. So this one has been sent in with a rather vague description. All it says is PS4 original logic board repair. So don't know what that's meant to mean, but uh, yeah, all it says is uh, logic board repair. I think when he because console repair London sent this, and I think when console repair London sends them that say logic board repair, I think he's referring to the disk drive. So yeah, let's uh, let's see what's going on with it, shall we? Is that so you don't get covered in console jeez? No, that's so I don't get covered in people jeez. When people jeez all over their uh, the consoles. <laughs> well. The speaker's a little bit knackered. Or maybe not. It is working. Mm, got some liquid on there. Pro look. Yeah, gotta make myself look cool. Right, let me turn my TV on. Because my capture card's playing up. So, stuff it. Right, so let's have a look what's going on with this then. So, we have... Everything there appears to work, so let's do network, set up interwebs, use Wi-Fi, yes. Okay, it picks up my Wi-Fi, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go through a test and just see, just check some basic things. Yep, all that's working. And what I presume is the fault, the disk drive. So let's grab a disk. And yeah, not taking a disk. Not taking a disk. Cool. Uh, actually, I'll just show you that. Digging a new setup. Cheers, mate. Nah, it's not taking a disc, mate. Des definitely not all working. Right, that. That's resisting like it's got a disc in. Uh, so usually you'd be able to push it in freely. That's resisting like it's got a disc in. Oh, there we go. That speaker's a little bit dodge. Yeah, that's uh, that's not taking a disc. Okay. Well, let's uh, shut it down. All working. Yeah, I think it's coming for a disc drive fault. It doesn't have to sound the ticket. What's wrong with it? it? Just says logic board fault. So I'm presuming that means disc drive. Yeah, it's on a separate board, yeah. Well, I'm now dealing with people farting out over a workshop. But burps. Zoom in. I will do, mate. Bear with me a sec. Are you in the same room as them? <laughs> mate, it sounds like you. I'm just hoping I don't smell the thing. I can literally hear him farting. <sighs> right, anyway. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a look at this, um, this destroyed board, shall we? Get the extractor on. I should fart through the extractor with right outside. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, there's the logic board anyway. 
or as I, or as I call it, the freaking daughter board. Fuck, there we go. <laughs> oh well, I'm sure Wayne will explain what he means. Is it the shed next door? No, they ain't got a shed. He's just literally sat there. Um, I'd say the fuse is probably gone, mate. Yeah, but we're going to check. Um, actually, I'll take the daughter board out because then I can put it under the microscope. It's a little bit high to get it under the microscope. Um, not for me, for just to make it easy for you guys to see where I'm actually testing. So pop that to one side. So on these, it's generally fairly simple. You got a fuse just here. You got a fuse there. You got what I believe is a current sensor resistor there. And I believe on these ones, yep, on this particular model on the BDP025, there's another fuse there as well. Uh, so let's test them fuses. So this one here controls the laser, I think. So I'm going to put the multimeter into beat mode. That one's good. Uh, this is usually the one that goes. Yep. And that one has gone. So that needs replacing. Let's check this one. That's good. And the current sense resistor is good. Cool. Yeah, so uh, I think it's, I think that one's F203. I don't know the, uh, the marking layout on this. If that's F201, um, then yeah, that one's going to be F. 203 yeah so this fuse here is gone and that is the one for the motor controller um you can actually follow this circuit pretty easy um so you got this resistor here uh that obviously goes to that fuse goes through that fuse um and then it goes from this fuse here through a wire on the board to there whoops shoot it goes through a volume on the board to there um and then it should go from there to this side of the fuse and then from this side of the fuse i believe it goes to somewhere here i can't remember exactly where um where does it go to from here I can't remember where it goes from there, but yeah, basically it goes from this resistor here to over here. Um, and then it's supposed to go through this fuse, but this fuse is dead. When Phil says destroy, if I always hear destroy. If I was Thanks, <laughs> Uh Yeah, I can't remember where it goes from there, but basically that's the main destroy mechanism fuse. Or fuses. Check to see if the fuse is shorted to ground. Uh, it shouldn't be. Don't think I've ever had them shorted to ground. Um, I can check. Nope. Nope. No short to ground. Um, I actually checked on both sides. Um, usually when the fuses go bad on this, it's because... Uh, the disk drive has been struggling to take in a disk, um, and that overworks the fuse, and well overworks the circuit, and um, causes it to get hot, and eventually burn out. Right. There's that fuse off. Say bye bye.
with an L201 fit? No. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't got any L402s, so I'll have to grab one off a donor board, I think. Grab one off the donor board, donor board, donor board. Grab one off the donor board if I can find one. <laughs> uh, yep, there's one. Yoink. If you're grabbing one off a donor board, a little tip. Check the bloody thing works first. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. It will fit if I faff around, but nah. I'll just get the proper size. Damn you, friggin' thing. Why, Mr. Resistor? Fuse, whatever you are. I think it's actually a zero ohm link. I think those old two old ones are actually zero ohm links. There we go. Job done. Good, and we didn't kill the fuse. Happy days. There's my donor board. Say bye bye. Right, overall condition of this appears good, so I think it's probably recently had a survey. In fact, yes, it has. Console Repair London took it apart. Um. So it's recently had a service, so I don't even need to clean the thing, which is cool. This will be a nice simple fix. Console Repair London's already serviced it. As you can tell, or as you can probably tell. I'll be back in six months. That's alright, the warranty is only for three. <laughs> nah, this will be fine. It'll be fine. Assuming there's nothing wrong with the disk drive, but I'll confirm that anyway. Right, let's, uh, let's give it another whirl, shall we? Test the disk. Yeah! Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Right, okay, so... I've got some documents... Um, on my PC... which I use... Uh, as checklists. Uh, so, scan hard drive. I can clearly see the hard drive working, but I, I could scan it, but um, I can clearly see it working. 
Um, but I can check the hard drive. Uh, where's my... SATA cable. So I'll check the hard drive in a minute. Uh, I've got a SATA USB that I can use. Uh, right, controller sync, I've already confirmed works. Fan, the fan's uh, spinning. This is irrelevant because I haven't touched the HDMI port. Power button and eject buttons are working. LEDs are working. Controller sync and controller range. HDMI port, we've got test. Um, yeah, good. Uh, wi Fi and Ethernet, I've already done. Well, I haven't done Ethernet, but I'll do that in a sec. It inserts and ejects a disk. Uh, it installed that disk as well, FIFA 15. It plays it, fan volume, and complete shutdown. So that, well, I'll check the uh, I'll check the Ethernet, but other than that, um, it seems to pass all the tests. Hang on, why did I use PS4 Slim there as a fucking thing? Yeah. It's the same process. Same testing process. But, uh... Yep. That'll do me. And complete shutdown. Take my disc out. Do I get a little extra for filling that in? No, this is... Um, well, I have to do the tests anyway. It's just that I've got a checklist. Um, so basically, the things have changed a little bit at Console Repair London over the past uh, week or two. Um, he's no longer testing them when they go back to him. So that sheet goes with the console back straight to the customer. So I have to fill I have to fill that out and make sure that it's it goes with the console. Um, but uh, it doesn't take any longer to do. It's just uh, it's just I just tick a few boxes. Um, so basically, if it, if that checklist is there, then. He knows that I've tested everything and he doesn't have to worry. He can send it straight back to the customer, uh, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, obviously, if I scan the hard drive now and there's an issue with the hard drive, I mean, generally, I wouldn't scan the hard drive, but he's asked me to and I said I'd scan him. Generally, I don't scan the hard drive unless I can see an issue. Um, I'll guarantee this hard drive is going to pass. Um, I can see it loading up properly. It's nice and quick. Uh, but if it's anything less than ninety five percent health, then um, basically I uh, I just report it and advise that a new hard drive might be needed. But I've literally just got a USB USB to SATA cable, um, and all I've got to do is literally unplug the hard drive for one minute, load up Crystal Disk Info, and uh, that's it. So that's picked up in the computer. Desktop, Crystal Disk Info, and it reads as good. So no warnings on the uh, on the 500 gig hard drive. So yeah, reads as good. Pass the test, and that's all it needs. So if I rescan that now, there you go, because I've unplugged it, it's disappeared. So yeah, hard drive passes, and that test is complete. But yeah, that's passed all the tests, and that job is done. 